Hi guys, sorry about my lighting, but here is um, today's last two steps to meeting your um, divine counterpart, soulmate, your one, okay? Divine spouse. Step 10 is enter the vortex. One want acknowledge and take responsibility. These are powerful life lessons that will expedite your ascension process, okay? And remember to look at the card because there are activations on them. Take responsibility for your actions gives you the momentum to create your own reality. When you come to terms with what no longer works in your life and realize that your current status is an accumulation of previous choices, you will recognize how your inner feelings impact your life. The first step towards owning your truth is to acknowledge that you carry the power within you to make positive decisions that align with your heart's desires. This card implies that you are the key holder of your destiny and no one except you can unlock your hidden potential. If you are unhappy with yourself, your life, your relationships, or even your career, only you can take the necessary actions that will shift your situation, making you the alchemist of your reality. You are being called to rise above limitations that have caused you to focus on what is outside of yourself, which creates separation between you and all that is. Making this conscious connection with your inner soul flame will set your soul on fire and light on your path, resulting in a brighter future. The last step that's going to trailblaze your ascension is step 11. Mission accomplished. 11-11. I am enough. Let go of expectations. There is power in shifting from not feeling good enough to declaring I am enough. When you claim ownership of your worth, it gives you permission to let go of expectations and be yourself. If you focus on fulfilling your own needs, it releases conditions that you once placed on others, creating empowerment and the freedom to be your true self. This card indicates that you have that others have placed expectations on you, causing you to strive for overachievement. Focusing on your progress prevents you from constantly seeking an end result that set you up for failure and decreases your value. The key to feeling good enough is to develop self-acceptance, cultivate self-awareness, create self-confidence, and build self-esteem to help your soul grow and expand in the process. You were born to be extraordinary, just like the life cycle of a butterfly. You are going through extreme change that is transforming you into something different. Don't fight the process. Look within and see the true beauty that lies there and praise yourself for your accomplishments, helping you confidently say, I am enough. And in a few days or maybe tomorrow I will be back with some channeled songs that I got as well again sorry about the lighting I love you guys I hope you guys have an amazing day um hit me up if you would like readings on your partner their energy versus your energy um I'm doing a $25 special right now also uh for full reading um so just hit me up and we can talk about it or if you would like your 11 steps to your true love thanks guys love you till we meet again